In this tutorial, we'll cover just the navigational tools in Bonsai 3D. We'll show you how to easily navigate within your 3D environment. What if I want to zoom in or out of my scene? Well, it just so happens that there's a zoom in tool and a zoom out icon. That's pretty easy. Just simply click on the zoom in icon and you can zoom into the scene. Click on the zoom out icon and you zoom back out. What if I want to zoom into a specific location within my scene? Well, then I can use the zoom tool. And with that, I simply put the cursor where I want to zoom into and start clicking the mouse. And I can zoom into that position. To zoom out, I use the same tool, but in the Actions palette, you see it says a Command plus click to zoom out. So I just hold the Command key on Mac or the Control on Windows, and each click will then zoom me back out. I release the Command button, and uh, let's put the cursor on the 3D. I zoom in, hold the Command key, and I can zoom back out. Zooming can also be achieved with a three-button scroll wheel mouse. Just simply put the cursor where you want to go and simply roll the wheel forward or roll the wheel back to zoom in and out wherever the cursor is positioned. You can pan your scene by selecting the hand tool and simply clicking and dragging the mouse and panning your scene across the screen. If you have a three button mouse, then you can pan at any time by simply holding the middle mouse button down and dragging. This can be used regardless of the active tool. And you can spin your view by using the set view icon. Simply click the mouse and drag and you can spin your view, moving the mouse left and right. We'll spin it along the perpendicular direction, moving the mouse up and down. We'll spin it along the horizontal direction and you can see you can orientate yourself in 3D space. Simply release the mouse button and the spinning stops. We can also spin the view using the right mouse button. Simply hold down the command key on Mac or the control key on Windows and hold down the right button and drag. And this spins the view in a similar manner to the set view tool. This can be used at any time regardless of the currently active tool. Let's look at the last zoom icon, fit all. This takes all the objects in your scene and creates a view in which all of them are in the current view window. For example, let's say we're working on our project and we zoom into one little section over here. If we click on the Fit All icon, it automatically fits all the objects in the scene into our current view. It should be noted that I can also fit all with a double click of the middle mouse button. For example, I zoom into that same area again, I double click the middle mouse button, and the zoom fit is executed. If you prefer using key shortcuts for your navigational needs, a number of default key shortcuts are available. For example, I can hit the up, down, right, and left arrows in order to pan up, down, left, or right. I can hold the command key down while hitting the arrow keys to look up or look down, left, or right. Additional information on using key shortcuts for navigation is available in the Bonsai 3D documentation. When navigating in our scene, we can access numeric information about our current view parameters by opening the View Parameters palette. This gives us numeric information related to our current view. As we change our view, the numbers are automatically updated within the view parameters, and we can also type in information if desired. You can save and recall views inside the Views palette. This Views palette is located inside the main stack of palettes on the right. Simply click a blank area and give it the name that you want. How about uh, My View, Enter, and now it's saved. Simply click on the right column and you can make any of these views active. In order to organize these views, you can right click and a context sensitive menu will let you sort or delete and organize your views palette as you desire. A really neat feature for setting up your views is Edit Conavision. Edit Conavision is a temporary window which gives you a nice bird's eye view of your view parameters. Here we have a top view front view, and a right side view. And we manipulate interactively the view parameters to create the view that we want in the upper right hand corner. For example, the circle is your eye point and you can move that along the line of sight and you can rotate around the object. You can move the center of interest, which is the point that you're looking at, and you can also modify the field of view angle. And we can do this in the top, front, and side views. When we're all done creating the view, we can then close out of the Edit Conavision mode by simply closing this temporary window. Let's look at a couple tools that orientate your view to look at specific objects. For example, the Look at Reference Plane icon. This will change the view so it looks directly on the current reference plane. 
For example, let's say we're creating some objects and uh, we're going to maybe work on the front face of this object right here. I'm going to right click and keep that surface plane active. So now everything that I create, I'm actually working right on top of that reference plane. Now I'd like to look directly onto that plane. So I just simply click on the look at reference plane icon and it automatically creates my view looking directly onto the currently active reference plane. Another option would be to reorientate your view to look at any face in your scene. And that's done using the look at face icon. Let's go to a 3D view here. Click on the look at face icon. Click on any face, let's say the side face here, and it automatically reorientates our view directly on that face. Before we conclude this tutorial, I would just like to briefly mention that Bonsai 3D supports the 3D Connects Spaceball. This is an external device that plugs into your USB port. This is a wonderful device that allows you to navigate your zooming, panning, rotating, and spinning your view. The thing that's nice about this is you can do all your navigation with the 3D Connect Spaceball while freeing up the mouse for all of your modeling tasks. And this concludes our Bonsai 3D Navigation Tutorial.